This nice Bernina 1030 has a problem. Let me show you what it is. When you go to turn the hand wheel, it goes like three quarters of the way around or half the way around and then it jams. Now I've taken the covers off and let me show you what's going on here in the back. Turn the machine around. And I'll show you how to take those compon components off shortly here. But I want, I'm going to attempt to show you what the problem is. I have to get the flashlight. Right inside this little area, right in here, the arm that connects to the needle bar, there's a small bearing in there. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, here we go. There's a small, you can just see it inside there. I'm wiggling the hand wheel and there's a small arm that connects with a, a ball bearing in there. That's a five millimeter uh, ball bearing and that has fallen out and, and then consequently the machine has decided to jam up. So I'm going to move that lever over and see if I can get it freed up. Since I opened up the machine before I started the video, I'm going to show you a few of the things you'll have to do to get at, get at this. And one of them is you need to take this plate off to remove the light and get that out of your way. I just temporarily screwed this back on um, because I was waiting for those parts to come in. So I'm going to go ahead and loosen this up. And you're going to have to take out this screw and this screw and loosen this screw. This has a little slot so you don't have to take it all the way out. So I'm going to get in here and do that. I'd like to jump into the video for just a second and ask everyone watching to please like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is absolutely free. If you just click the thumbs up button below that leaves a like and also leave a comment down below and that helps out the channel. More people can watch the videos or more people are recommended the videos. So let's get back to uh, working on the machine. You can either go up out of your way or down out of your way. I'm going to go down out of my way like this. Don't just take, take it easy. Don't force anything here. And you can have it opened up like this. I removed this back aluminum plate which allows you to get in here and see what's going on much easier. I should have taken this off when I put this back together, but I've had this put put away for a couple weeks waiting for these parts, and I simply didn't even think about this. But this would be a lot much easier way to get in here to work on this. So the trick is you're going to take a little bit of grease and put it in that aluminum cup you're going to see down there, and get a little bit of grease on your bearing, and with a screwdriver set that in that cup and press it down in. Then you're going to notice on that the lever coming from the zigzag control, it's got a little bit of a tension spring. Uh, don't think of a spring. Let me see. I better think of a better term for that. It's like a little tension bar on the back side, and on the front side where the hole is. Um, what you want to do is what I did was I took a. I can get down in there with this Allen wrench. I can get right down in here and I can lift up on that that control arm coming from the zigzag dial and I can get that started on the ball bearing and then I'll put this on the back side of the ball bearing and I'll use this I can move the needle bar independently to over here from the foot foot uh, post and I can wiggle that around until everything's in position and then with just the right amount of pressure that will click back into position. It sounds like it's really going to be a major pain and uh, it really isn't. This is the part that got knocked off. This ball bearing, it popped off of this ball bearing and apparently the previous owner, this, got, this bearing was lost so I had to buy a new one. But now you can see in here what you have to connect back together. This arm was just off of the off of the connection altogether. Hopefully you could see that in the other video clip that I had going on. 
So I'm going to continue on here since I have this all opened up and oil, do my oiling in here. Uh, most of these oiling parts, if you ever service your own machine and oil things, they're going to be very obvious. I did no notice there's one oiling point back here behind this oval shape to oil the shaft going back. These two screws, take these out and this whole light fixture, including the switch, will just swing out. It goes into this little protective plastic piece here and you can just lay it down here like you saw it dangling down here earlier and uh, now I'm going to go ahead and put this back now we can get this bracket back up in place I'm just going to lift this take up lever out of the way lift it up drop this back down and we're back in position this does have a this spring on here you'll have to be careful with it's going to fight you a little bit until you get that on Okay, and then we I can go ahead and get one screw started up here in the corner So when you take this apart, it'll be these four screws To get this plate down and out of the way You'll have to wiggle the hiccup lever around a little bit And then you can take the light bracket off and swing that out of the way and then you can get in there So I've got all the oiling done if you're wondering about these holes here These are where the screws are going to go to hold the plastic back on and now this is a good time, since you're this far, this deep into it, to go in here. I already went out in the garage and blew all the lint out here. And go ahead and oil all these parts down here. All you got to do is start turning the hand wheel forward and you're going to see everything moving. Put a little sewing machine on those parts, look at everything very really carefully. And uh, make sure all the lint and dust is out of there. I'll go ahead and oil those and then we'll continue on. Okay, I'm to the point now that I can get this back cover panel on. It's pretty simple. It'll just slide into here. And there'll be two screws like this that go in through here with the little cover cap. And then this little screw goes in right there. Okay, I've got the two screws back in the machine here. Don't over tighten these. These are just plastic with these little plastic cover caps. And then this screw that is also a little guide for the table just put that in with the allen wrench don't over tighten that either now we can go ahead and put the back on i like to make sure that the switch is set to the off position when i put this on and be real careful with all these components here and i'll probably have to put that down no i'm actually gonna have to put the foot lift presser foot lever up to get through this hole. And then carefully line this up. Put that back down. That will help hold that. There's uh, four screws on this side. They're longer ones. They'll go into the, the four areas here that you remove them. And then there is a shorter screw that goes right up here by my index finger. And I'll go ahead and put these in and then we'll continue on. Okay, the back cover is on properly. All the screws are in except the bottom two. I'll do those at the end after I get this side cover on. You're, you will notice that there are a few clips on the front side of this. And those have to get, up, get behind this metal bar right here. So the easiest way to do this is just come in at a slight angle and get those behind that bar and then pivot this into place nice and easy. Oops. Nice, but maybe not so easy. Okay, there we are. Wasn't that bad. And now you have a shorter screw that's going to go right in here. And then a little bit longer screw that's going to go in through the bottom of, of the machine. But let's get this one in here. Because uh, that way I can show you the hand wheel. Okay, we don't want to over tighten any of this because it's plastic and this does have to go on a certain way. There's a flat spot there and a flat spot on the toggle here. On the toggle switch. Sure, I've got that lined up properly. There we go. Zero, one, and a half. 
good enough. And while we've got this this way, there is that this magnetic, this piece of metal. So if you have the foot pedal with the tap to go up and down, that works in conjunction with that. Now I just have to get this on and you can see there's a little flat spot. There we go. That's got to be pushed on just like that. That way this is in the right position. The hand wheel and then just one screw here. Tighten that down. That's good and tight. And then this cover just snaps into position. And there we go. That's back on. Now all I have to do is put the screws in the bottom. I have the repairs done on the Bernina 1030. Everything's working properly now. The zigzag lever is moving the needle position as it's supposed to. And the needle position dial here is working properly. Everything's connected back up. This isn't a very expensive repair if you can do it yourself. If you have some mechanical ability, I think the bearing... The five millimeter bearings on Amazon were about seven dollars, including shipping. And uh, yeah, pretty easy one to do. Um, check back in the channel. I'm probably going to do a video on the operation of this machine since I've got it all done now. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the thumbs up button down below. Like and subscribe. Subscribing to the channel is absolutely free. And leave a comment down below if you, want, if you like the video and want to see more videos like this about sewing machines and repairing sewing machines. And as always, see ya.